Okay, so things haven't really, you know, been been going quite the way I think we all wanted. Um, but we're here now, so welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to another one of our weekly Promise Neverland Season 2 discussion videos, maybe. Uh, maybe weekly, I don't even know anymore. Uh, today we're here to talk all about Episode 6, but before we get to the video proper, quick reminder if you haven't done so yet, to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, set notifications to all, let all of AnyTube know that you're here, and without further ado... Let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, cards on the table. I don't know what we're gonna do. Because I, we, we did end up doing like a bit of a manga read through on the channel. We, uh, we jumped ahead to, I, th I think it was, if, if, you were at, if you were at the manga read through, you'll know. I, I don't remember, I think it was 50 to 60 is what we read. And I tried. I really did. If you were at the if you were at the the live stream, you'll know. Like I really gave an attempt. Uh, a lot of you guys like for me. If I was reading on my own, I wouldn't have made it more than two chapters in because I had you guys there. We did push to about ten chapters. I did get to meet Yugo, but um, I just I just don't like manga. Like I just straight up don't like manga. It's super boring to me, and it's it's not. Like, uh, it's not me saying that manga is boring in general. If you like manga, I totally get why. I, I do understand. It's just, for me, it's kind of boring. I just don't really enjoy it. It's too bland. And before anybody says, like, try this, try that, I've tried everything, okay? Stop asking, <laughs> please. So it's just, it's just not my thing. If you like it, I'm super happy for you. And you got to experience Goldie Pond. Because when I tried to get, to get into it and I couldn't, I liked Yugo and I wanted to know more about him. And chat asks, like, do you want us just to tell you what happened in Goldie Pond? And then, like, leading up to where we are in the anime. And I was like, sure. Goldie Pond sounds really friggin' dope. And it's an absolute shame that we didn't get it. Everything with, with Yugo and... Uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. Uh, it's, it's an absolute shame. The characters that were missing, like, you know, those infamous characters that were missing that manga fans were complaining about? Yeah, it turns out they were really friggin' great, and it's an absolute shame we didn't get them. And I'm not gonna go into manga spoilers or anything here, so don't freak out, but... Yeah, um, I'm not gonna lie, judging off where we are, I don't know if I'm really vibing with this anymore. Um, I... Like, for, from what I gather, too, like, even from where we are in the manga, Norman's introduction is still wicked early. Like, this is still, like, super, super early. And you can tell. Because, like, his introduction is just kind of there. Like, it just kind of happens. And I don't know how to feel about it. It's not done very well. And that sucks. And I'm upset because I want to root for the show... I think Cloverworks was just focused on Wonder Egg, which is fine, because the Wonder Egg's another show that I didn't, I'm not personally into, but I totally see why everybody is really loving it. Like, if you watch Wonder Egg and you love it, I get it. And you could tell Cloverworks put their all into that show, and I don't really fault them. It's super cool. And I think that that's just where their attention is, and it didn't, like, Neverland, the staff just weren't as enthused as other series that Cloverworks is working on. I don't think that their heart was in it as much as they, it was in season one. And I think that's the same for the audience. Like, I don't know about you guys watching, but I, judging off the last video that I made on Neverland, a lot of people weren't sure what to do. Like, a lot of people kind of told me, like, I don't know what you should do. Because I asked you guys, what should I do? And a lot of people are like, well, try to read the manga. If that doesn't work, I don't know. And I kind of feel that, like, do I continue to cover this? Because I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, you know? Like, nobody wants to be the party pooper. Like, I don't want to make videos on a show that I'm not really enjoying. So I don't know what to do. Like, it's not that I hated this episode or anything. I didn't even find it bad. It was just kind of like a disconnect where I'm like, I don't really like the direction it's going in. I don't think it's doing it wrong. I just don't like where they're going and that's just me like i don't like where they're taking norman i don't really like where they're taking the story especially in a season where we have the final season of attack on titan already talking about the cycle of hatred and war you're gonna try to tackle that too like i it's just like i don't know if that's really where i wanted this story to go personally and from what i gather even manga fans are like the story ain't going anywhere interesting like judging by the manga like it doesn't end great so it's like okay so i I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, and I'm really upset because I was super excited for Neverland season two. Because again, I heard Goldie Pond was great 
And then after, like, or rather during the manga stream, by the end of it, um, we had a big discussion about, um, like, what what happens and what to do from here. And even then, people in, in the chat were like, I don't know, maybe continue covering it. Maybe the next episode's good. And it's not bad. It's certainly not bad. I would never say that this is bad. It's just, like... I don't vibe with the direction they're taking and I just don't know what to do. So I'm gonna leave that to you guys. Like, let me know in the comments, what should I do? Because alternatively, what I was gonna do is I was gonna do, if if I do end up not covering the show, like if you don't want me to cover the show, and even then, like if you do, what if I don't like an episode, right? I, I don't really wanna talk about something I didn't like, you know, like I'm not, one of those channels who likes to like tear apart a show especially one that doesn't really deserve to be teared apart like th it's not bad you know what i mean like the season's not terrible it's just not going in a direction i like and that's not fun for me to talk about so if i don't like it even if you guys do i'm not really inclined to make a video on it so it's like what should i do like should i just hope that an episode's good or come back when an episode's good because if not I was thinking of maybe just making this like the slot in the week where I just put in either a Q&A video or a ranking video. I used to make those like uh, rate my husbandos, rate my waifus, like, you know, like those old videos. Maybe bring on some other anti-tubers to like rate husbandos and waifus with me or do finally get around to that sorting hat video. Like I've been, I have like a bunch of sorting hat videos that I used to do and I've actually been sitting on a few shows that I did sorting hats on. I don't know, it's just like a random day where I just kind of upload whatever. I don't know. What should I do? Should I keep covering Neverland and just tough it out and try to find the positives? Or should I kind of just make this a free day where we talk about whatever? I, I, I don't know. And I'm bummed that we're here in this spot. I think the biggest thing that I have as like a negative, um, and again, it's not like, I'm again, like this is all subjective, okay? Like, so if you like where the direction's going, I don't fault you. Again, like, I can see how it might be cool, but I was watching it sort of like stone face, right? Like, I just, I had no reaction to Norman coming back at all. Because, like, was it always kind of obvious he was alive? Yeah. Like, Norman being alive, I was just like, it's, we didn't see a body. So, yeah, I just kind of always assumed that Norman was alive. Um... But the way he's introduced, it's just so fast. Like, he gets tossed in at the end. There's no hug. There's no anything. He's just sort of there, and then that's it. And then we left for two weeks because we had a clip show in between because something's going on at Cloverworks. And then they do hug here, but it's so brief, and everything just happens so quickly. And, and then they talk about how Norman's, like, changed and how he's, like, dark and he's cold and like there's these other new characters who are just kind of lame like i just don't really like the new characters that much and like yeah we just got introduced to them so like it's like and i get why they're doing what they're doing but i just like they just kind of seem like fodder to me like i'm just like whatever and then the biggest thing is like making Norman like a psychopath who's like gonna try to kill all the demons with like some sort of like degeneration super drug and also Norman can make like super degeneration drugs now I okay like again it, it this feels sort of like it, it it's funny the, the this episode reminded me a lot of Titan right we're like so far in Titan we've seen Aaron go from like like, and this isn't big spoilers for Titan or anything. It's just, like, Eren starts as one character that we left with, that we left the season off with, and we see through flashbacks that he was the same uh, for a bit, and then something happens, and Eren's, like, a totally different character. The thing is, though, we haven't seen the shift, but you know they're going to address it. Whereas with Norman, I don't know if we'll ever really get to see what made him snap, and even so, I don't really trust them to make it interesting at this point. Because it's like, I don't know what caused this change in Norman other than like, I have to survive. And that made him dark. But it's like, that's really generic and kind of boring. And that's just, that, that's kind of how I feel where I'm like, the, the original plot of Escape from the Farm is genius. Everything to do with Goldie Pond, again, I'm not going to spoil it. Like, if you do like manga, you should read it, is super cool. And, and I think what this manga does well is contained stories right like small stories on a on a smaller scope 
And there's nothing wrong with having a small setting for your story, right? There's nothing wrong with having a more condensed, smaller narrative. Because I think everyone always just assumes big scope equals good. And that's not always the case. Sometimes you actually benefit by having a smaller scope so you can zero in on certain characters and really flesh them out and explore this smaller area, right? It just sometimes works better to your benefit if the stories are smaller and more people-focused. The second you sort of scope it out, and now Norman's talking about changing the world on, like, some some light Yagami stuff, it's just weird. And the fact that he knows Mujika is also like, how small is this big world? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, of course he knows Mujika. And he calls her evil? And it's like, okay, so they've crossed paths. Mujika's evil to Norman, or is Norman just seeing her in a weird light? I don't know, because it seems like they're trying to turn Norman evil, and don't do that. Like, I just, it's, I don't like it. Like, again, like, it's not terrible. I can see why people would maybe enjoy this direction for Norman, who might enjoy these new characters who might enjoy the story direction i'm not saying that it's bad i'm just saying that i'm personally not vibing with it and i hate making videos like this like i hate being negative because i'm trying so hard not to like piss anyone off because that's not my intention i think we've gotten to a point where you guys know that i don't want to upset you you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to bother you. I don't want to make you mad. There's plenty of other anti-tubers who do that, right? There's plenty of other anti-tubers who like to rile you up, who like to get you upset. I don't want to do that. This channel's supposed to be fun and chill, right? This is supposed to be the lo-fi hip-hop of anti-tube, right? So it doesn't really work if I'm angry. <laughs> Not that I'm angry, but it doesn't work if I'm bored and my boredom for a series upsets you because then you're not chilling out like a lo-fi hip-hop then you and i are, are at an impasse and we're not having fun anymore and that's my big concern is that i don't think this is fun anymore and at the very least a, sh a show doesn't necessarily have to be fun but you have to enjoy watching it to some degree whether or not you find the show fun in terms of like genuine like haha -ha, this is such a good time or you find the show thought-provoking and fun to discuss like something like titan and from where we are now, I just don't think Neverland's fun anymore. I'm not as drawn to it as I once did, which is sad because Neverland season one was my show of the year. It was like my anime of the year for 2019. And here I am with season two, just kind of like shrugging my shoulders. Like it's not bad. I just don't vibe with it. And now I don't know what to do. So again, let me know what I should do. So with that said, everybody, that's gonna wrap up today's video here. I am so sorry. <laughs> this was not a fun time, but if you enjoyed today's video, somehow, don't forget to boop that up snoot, share if you care, leave a comment down below, and of course, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, set notifications to all, and let all of AnyTube know that you're here. And of course, before we go, as always, I want to give a big, big thank you to the good folks in the T-Squadron. Look at these beautiful people. Look at all these beautiful names. And hey, if you'd like to join these beautiful people, there are two ways to do so. The first is by hitting that join button right beside the sub button. That gets you a badge next to your name, some emotes to spam in the comments, and of course, your name scrolling past the screen here. Or you could check out that Patreon link in the description. Either way, it is super, super appreciated. So once again, a big thank you to the T-Squadron. And that's it for me. I, I hope, I really hope I didn't bug anybody with this video. I, I don't mean to offend or get anybody upset or rile anybody up. It's not my intention, but um, anyway, bye.